Well, you know, this feels good to just empty my heart with you guys there. Or with you, if it's just one guy watching. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I probably have autism and uh, Asperger autism or Asperger syndrome. And uh, I was diagnosed before seven years ago, but my shrink at that back in the day and me, we were really not uh, content with with the outcome. Remember we were looking at it and looking at each other and we needed no words. It was full of shit. It was full of shit because I uh, had to wait for one year before they could uh, do the test on me, right? But uh, in that year I, uh, I went to read in what as, uh, what Asperger was, right? And when I took action in reading, I started like noticing behaviors in myself that would seem like I would have the diagnose, right? But when I uh, did the test, I uh, I was very biased, so I kind of fill it out as an office would do and that was visible in the in the diagnose that's why we decided my shrink and me we decided to go for a second opinion and then he, they also said after I did the test they also said if you have autism I'll eat my shoe that's literally the sentence that she used the other shrink to tell me that I had no diagnose but now today they took another look and you know my shrink he said well it's not a shrink it's more like a guy that does the intakes he is a shrink but he, do he does the intakes and, uh, and he said uh, he didn't know what kind of treatment he should give me and he would discuss it with a whole group of shrinks and they did and uh, now they said you probably do have Asperger syndrome and uh, that kind of uh, I mean yeah sure I mean if I have to ex uh, accept it if I have to accept that then then I will but I'm first I'm, I have to know for sure Right, because this is very uh, um, confusing for me. Right, I have to, I have to know this for sure. I want to make them contact uh, my 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 second shrink. Right, my my seven year back shrink. I want to make her. Uh, I want. I hope she still works there, and I hope she can uh, explain him why she thinks I don't have Asperger. This is basically also the same woman that um, gave me the green light to go full on pickup, right? So I love that woman. I really could talk very deep and very nice with her. I really had a good click with her, but I mean, she probably didn't know about the, the toxicity of pickup and she probably meant the self-development part, but she meant well and she said it's best to quit the treatment that we are going through together for you to stop thinking about all these sicknesses and diseases or whatever you call them uh, in your life right so I quit there and I went on this pickup rage rant uh, uh, well how you say frenzy right and uh, well, as you know, I, I became good at it, blah, blah, blah. But now, uh, yeah, the connection is still lost. And you know, you guys know that I'm looking for, for myself now, looking for connection and stuff. 
but it may be all in vain. Oh, it's never in vain, right? It's never fucking in vain. It's never for nothing, but it's going to be so fucking hard if I'm going to... if I have Asperger. That's fucking... that's the reason why I cannot connect with people. (laughs) If that's the reason I cannot connect with people... I am. I have a lot more to let go of than just my pickup company. (laughs) 